Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be testing out YouTubers makeup. This can be an influencer that collabed with a major brand or an influencer that has their own brand. It's kind of a mix. It's a little bit 50-50, but I have a big bin and I've kind of pulled things aside that I've wanted to try out and support and explore. And I felt like the last one of these that I did went over so well where I just tried so much of, you know, everything full face and you guys really enjoyed it. It's been a hot minute since I've done one of these and there are a lot of really, really exciting new launches that have to do with people in my community and I just wanted to show some love and test things out. Still give a little bit of a mini review and uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna dive right in. Notice I get like kind of nervous when I say that because I kind of feel like when you review a fellow creator's product, you're kind of put in a hard spot, you know? And I've said this before, you either, you know, say exactly how you feel and that gets you in hot water, like you're ruining someone's launch and you're just, you know, shame on you for doing that. Or if you're too lovey-dovey with it, you're just fake phony and just trying to, you know, get on someone's good side. So it's a little bit tough to navigate. This is probably the most challenging of videos, like with brands. And I say this like as politely as I can, but with brands, I feel like I can find the good and bad in all products. You know, occasionally there are products that I'm just like, eh, like next, pass. But it's a brand. It doesn't seem personal. It doesn't seem like someone that I'm gonna go and make eye contact with at an event, you know what I'm saying? So this is a little bit, <sighs> why am I doing this again? I don't even know. It's really pretty. There's a lot of great makeup in front of me. I've really wanted to put some of this to the test. A few things I have tried and used before, a few things are brand spanking new. We'll talk about it all, break it all down. And I also want to give my deepest apologies to Makeup by Iman because I really love this blush palette. I don't think I gave it fair justice in the video that I posted where I tried this on. It was like a new at the drugstore video. I will link that below in person. It did not look as crazy as it did in camera where the saturation picked up a little bit hotter. We're gonna play with this again. I'm gonna do everything in my power to like go lightly because I was also wearing a lot of bronzer underneath and it was bronzer that I didn't like. So uh, check out that video below if you want to see me with a lot of blush. So what we are gonna do is make the skin look gorgeous, play with Kristen Dominique, she has another new palette. I still hadn't even tried this one. And I'm like, oh my gosh, another launch. Um, Awesome for you. Like these palettes are a really nice size. We're gonna play with this. We're gonna play with a little bit of Physicians Formula. So some higher end, a little drugstore. Of course, I have some Huda Beauty just because you guys, please tell me in the comments below, am I losing my mind or is there not another brand out there that is like face-based foundation that is by a creator? Like who else is there? I'm spacing. Leave it in the comments below, please help me. Okay, so I want to dive straight into some Huda Beauty foundation. She sent over some new colors for me because I think the one that I've been using is just a little too light. This is the shade Toasted Coconut. Oh my God, you guys, they're building a house across the street. And it literally sounds like, it's like an earthquake. It is literally like the house shakes, like it's kind of making me a little bit nuts. And like parking on my street, oh my gosh. If I seem tired and stressed, it's a little bit of that, a little bit of construction, a little bit of I woke up really early and went to the gym and went to bed very, very late. I don't recommend doing that. And yeah, I'm just like, oh Lord, I just need that makeup. I need the makeup so badly. Okay, what I do wanna do is test out also this Huda Beauty Face Buff and Blend Complexion Brush. Okay, so I have it in the brush and I am just going to buff and blend and I'm gonna really try my hardest. My very, 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 very hardest to not overuse product, which is so hard for me because in all things, well, not in all things, but in so many things in life, I'm like, more is more. I say that a lot here on my channel. I'm like, why not have just a little extra, like the sprinkles on top? But maybe with your foundation, you just don't, you don't need sprinkles on top, you know? All right, so this was the new shade they sent to me to try out. It does look a little yellow. I did a test recently to see how product was oxidizing. Who do products do oxidize? Let's see how this one is. Thank you. 
All right, so the other thing I've been doing recently is, and I always adjust little things in my routine. I have actually been taking my foundation up underneath my eye and then I'm only using a tiny, tiny amount right in here and out on this edge where I have a little discoloration and I like it. It's one of the new techniques that I'm so into. And then I try to make sure I don't get too much makeup on the forehead. Also, part of the reason that I've changed up and I'm using this mirror right here is it is a magnification mirror. It's not like a crazy magnification, but it is enough where you see a lot of things that you don't wanna see, but you need to keep it in your head that people don't look at you this close up. It really just gives you an opportunity to see what needs to be blended better, where you need to adjust something so that, you know, from a normal distance, you look so good. All right, I really do love this foundation. It's so full coverage, it's so light, it is so fragranced. That is the one thing that makes me lose my mind. And if I wear it more than like three times in a row, I do start to break out, so that really sucks. But I can usually get away with like one great killer makeup day, and that's why I continue to keep it on hand. Okay, moving into a product I know and love very well, the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer. I'm gonna go in with C13, and I'm just gonna hit right in here, right there. Just hit right in here. Oh my God, she's not doing triangles. Who is she? I don't even know. Oh, this is a new look. Hmm. Yes. Such, such, such killer concealer. Oh my gosh. Okay, before I go into powder, I do wanna try out a new blush that is a serum blush. This is by M Cosmetics. I'm gonna use the shade Rose Milk. Kinda looks like a little nail polish thing would do, right? It's cute. We're gonna go in kinda the same way I do with the Honest Blush. My sister and I went to Target and got like a ginormo bag of candy corn. And as I'm sitting here, I'm like, Whew. like fall is here. And I feel like every time I say that I am like nauseous or like, ooh, I have a headache or my, like everyone's like, you're pregnant. Can we please, for the love of God, I will tell you guys, I promise you, I will tell you guys. I mean, and even if I didn't, at some point you'd be like, I, I'd be like, look, a baby, you know? So you would know. Can't a girl just be nauseous and have cravings and be moody, indecisive and tired, have a headache? Can't I just be a lot of things and not be pregnant? Does it mean that when I am pregnant, I get to be a lot of things and like that's the get out of jail free card? Like leave me alone, I'm pregnant. Leave us alone, you know? Oh crap, I had wanted to use the Amon blush. Gosh dang it. All right, once that sinks in and I powder it, I am gonna put just a tiny bit of the Amon blush. Ooh, I told myself I was not gonna overdo the blush. Whatever, I'm gonna do it anyway. I think it would look way better on like no foundation. Okay, we are gonna go on top and underneath the eye a little bit with some powder. I'm gonna take my Magic Star Translucent and I'm just gonna take a brush from Milani that I've really, really been enjoying. This is the All Over Blending. This is like a really nice multitasking brush. So nice. Okay, we're now gonna go in to some bronzer. I'm super excited because I forgot I had this on hand and I hope they still have this available. And Casey, I am so sorry that this got put in a bin and I did not get to give this a big hug publicly you know, sooner. I, I really hope they still have this available. This is the Butter Collection and Casey Holmes collaboration. You guys know how much I absolutely love the butter bronzer. So I thought this was just really fun, really cute. You get the fragrance in there. You get a limited edition butter highlighter that actually looks like the perfect, perfect shade. I'm excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and start bronzing just ever so slightly and lightly. Okay, I do wanna put just a teeny tiny bit of blush from the Amon palette. I'm gonna use just a tiny little bit on the tip of this brush and right in here. And I am gonna put on a little bit of the butter highlight. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be the prettiest thing ever. I just have a feeling.
Ooh, I really like that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips before we pull the camera forward. This is a waterproof lip liner from El Maquillage and it's a collaboration with Carly Bible. This is the shade Luna. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the shade, I think this is just Bible. So I wanna go on top of that with a Kristen Dominique collaboration with MAC. And this is just a gorgeous neutral tone. Seems like it would go really nice with this lip liner. And then I will scoot you guys in. Can I please get a good lipstick application face? I need to work on this. <laughs> I really like this combo, but I am in the mood to try as much as I can that's sitting in front of me. So I'm actually gonna go in with Kristen Dominique Liquid Lipstick in Bait. And I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand and apply it with my fingertip to kind of lighten up the center of the lip. This is from Persona and this is the Honey Gloss. There's a lip trio and I think they're really pretty. She also has a new eyeshadow palette that I was trying out and enjoying. I don't know where it wandered off to, but she makes some really beautiful eyeshadows. They're available at Ulta. Look at that. Ooh, that is like a fall combo. I know that was a lot of steps, but the darker brown lip liner with kind of a mauve lip liner on top, something kind of neutral as far as a lipstick and then kind of lighten up the center and put a gloss on. Wow, that's a lot of steps and that's super high maintenance, but arrest me, I'm high maintenance. Um, I love how this looks. I can't keep my eyes off that lip combo. That is so nice. Yes. I don't have a brow pencil from a creator influencer. I, I just don't. So we're gonna have to get creative with the brows because I just don't have that. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Uptown Brow in medium brown, just with an angled brush. Feeling pretty good about that. Not that I really need more highlighter, but I am going to swing this brush right into the shade Clutch from Pixie. This is the collaboration with Rach Loves. And I'm actually just going to pull that kind of down and kind of pump up the Physician's Formula highlight just a little bit. I am in the mood to be more than just lit from within. I, I wanna glow. I don't have anything to contour my nose with, so I am just gonna take a teeny tiny hit of my contour palette from MAC. I'm just really not even doing much. I just kinda wanna skim the side of the nose just to give a little bit of definition here. Okay, so now we are gonna get into the fun stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids with something from Pixie. This is the Miriam and Pixie collaboration. This is the Liquid Fairy Lights. And this is just such an interesting, deep, like, ooh, like look at that, right? I do wanna hit this on top of the lid. I, of course, need to lay down some shadow first. We're gonna go into the Rustic Glam Palette, and I am gonna prime my eyelids with just the Huda Foundation, not even concealer. I'm just gonna kind of go right on top of the lids. I find that this is full coverage enough that if you get straight into the eyeshadow before it has a time to really crease or settle or anything like that, it actually makes a pretty great eyeshadow primer. First things first, I'm gonna take my Scott Barnes 6'2 brush and I'm gonna go into this shade right here kind of all over just to set myself up for success in the crease. So this is gonna be pretty low. And I usually give like one, two, three, wiggle on the outer edge and then back through the crease. And then I kind of stick around the outer edge, back through the crease. Next, I am gonna go into the shade Cactus. A little dangerous. I'm gonna go in with this and kind of repeat the same motion, keeping it quite low. I 
I really like this shade. It's super, super unique. I'm just not quite sure where to go from here. I just think that's too, too much. Hmm. And I really still wanted to use this somehow. Okay, we're just gonna be kind of adventurous. That's kind of fun. I actually really, really like that combo and I'm now inclined to go into this green and kind of go right in the center. Kind of nice. Now I wanna work on the lower lash line just an itty bitty bit. And to do that, I'm gonna take a smudger brush from Zoeva. This is the 226. And I'm gonna go into the brown and then I'm gonna put a little bit of the teal on top of it. I just kind of want to define right through here, right through here, and then buff it out. Okay, so this is one of those looks that looks like oh dear God, what have I done until you get liner and lashes on. So just hang tight. It's gonna look gorgeous. I have a really good feeling about it. I'm actually gonna take just a little bit of the bronze. I really like this. I think it's so different and peacocky, but just soft at the same time. I also want to highlight the brow bone just a tiny little bit. I love that there's a nice cream shadow in the palette to do that. I'm gonna take this just in the inner corner a little bit as well. I'm gonna keep with the theme and we're gonna use M Cosmetics for our liner today. This is the Illustrative Eyeliner. I've used this before, I really enjoy it. I'm gonna do just like the teeniest, tiniest little baby wing on both eyes, pile on the mascara, and I'll be right back. Now I am going to load up my lashes. I really love how this eye look turned out. All right, that's a lot of mascara, wow. I did pull out some Lily Lashes just in case. I have not worn a pair of these in a hot minute because I mean, they are like va va boom. These are the Miamis. I mean, part of me is like, we're already this far, just freaking do it, right? Yeah, let's just have fun and do it. Ah, okay. The love-hate relationship with lashes runs so deep. I sometimes love them and I feel like it just takes everything to this very elevated, glamorous place. And then other times I'm like, it just ruins a look. It takes away from it. It's too hard. Normally I do not like the Miami lashes from Lily Lashes, but I'm enjoying them today. I'm actually really, I'm into it with this particular look. I just, I really like it. I'm so surprised. So this is where we land you guys. I hope you enjoyed me testing out a ton of different creators products, whether it is a standalone brand or a new collaboration, a newer product or one that has been around for a minute. I just wanted to kind of do a full face using a bunch of that kind of stuff. So I actually super love where this all ended, surprisingly. I will say one thing. I wish I had put this on at the very, very end because there is minor fallout. That doesn't really bug me too much. But the only issue that I had with it is really my fault because once you put glitter on, you really want to let it be. You don't want to be doing a ton of blending. And I thought I was done, but then I got that itch. And I guess what I want to recommend and challenge myself is to wait to the end to put on your glitters you know and I'm actually gonna put on just the tiniest bit more kind of just like tilt back yeah ooh, see that changes it 
All right, there's so much more I could play with, but I am actually just gonna step away from the makeup because I'm at that point where if I put on more, I think I'm gonna ruin it. I would set my face with an orange creamsicle scented uh, setting spray. I don't have that though. Just saying, I don't, I, I, I would support, I don't have it. I think drama videos need to be made about that. I was sassing Rich Lux for not putting me on his PR list. I'm just gonna put some water on the face. I need to cool down. I need to cool down my entitlement. Whew, that actually felt really, really good. Okay, you guys, this is it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Let me know what your favorite part was. I definitely recommend the new palette from Kristen Dominique. I'm gonna play with her newer, newer one that is more galactic, kind of bright, duochrome, neon pink, purple kind of a vibe. I really like the quality of her products. Persona glosses are incredible. Matte collaboration is A+. You guys already know, I really love the Jeffree Star powder and concealer. The Huda Beauty, I've already said my piece on that one. Physician's formula is always good. The Amon collab, the Rage Loves collab with Pixie, the Pixie eye glitters, it's all great. The collab mascara. Like literally the name is collab, so good. All right, you guys, I hope you're having a good one. Make sure you're subscribed if you have not yet done that and then ring the bell so you're notified of my upcoming videos. I'm here three days a week and I would love it if you guys would come and hang with me again. All right, go have a good one. I know I'm gonna go have a good one with my glittery eyeshadow. I love it. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.